Mr. Zoomer Moses Neimer, man of big broadcast brain, is my guest. He has a new vision for aging and a genius for selling it. I think it was Ingmar Bergman who once said, genius cannot be learned or its magic passed on, but maybe we can catch a little bit of it. A little You're bit very of sweet. genius. Um, I hope you won't mind. I, I want to correct something you said yes. just as we went into the break. C I don't mind. C-A-R-P, previously known as the Canadian Association of Retired Persons today known as the Canadian Association of Relaxed, Refreshed, Recharged, and Otherwise mm. Reinvigorated okay. Persons. Because once upon a time, when I was growing up, mm -hmm. the image of paradise at the end of a life of industrial drudgery was mm -hmm. you got to retire and go into your basement and build model airplanes for a sure. couple of years and before, draw. before you faded away. Well, and get a gold watch. Now, a good portion of our community has mm -hmm. to keep working because they need a little of that extra money to support the gift of extra mm -hmm. time. And then there's another good proportion of our community who knows that the best way to keep going is to keep going. That's my personal motto. And so they want to engage. They, they know it's when people detach fully mm -hmm. that they begin that long, not often pleasant decline. Of course, and take charge now and to the end, and you write about that in, mm. in the last issue. Whose life is it anyway? Right, uh, right to die, rational suicide, whatever we're calling it these days. Yeah. How do I want to Medically uh, end assisted. it? Medically yes. Well, if you're in indescribable pain, if you've lost all control of your function and your dignity and you're a burden to everybody around you, still in your right mind, clear about mm -hmm. what you want to do, why should you not have the right to do that? I mean, it's the last measure of autonomy that we deserve as human beings. We come into the world without permission. Mm -hmm. Nobody asks, right? No. I think, therefore, we should have the right sure. of last and we come, decision. We come into the world kicking against the mainstream pretty much, <laughs> pretty and we should much. continue to the end, Yes, I think. Yeah. Uh, do you think we should change the name of retirement homes? Call them, I, I, do you know Rod Beatty, actor, mm. does Wingfield Farm? Yeah. yeah. In one of his Wingfield uh, plays, he calls it the I'm a goner home <laughs> before you go to yeah. the I'm a goner home. Yeah. And so the humor is so important yes, it's, in our lives when we're 20 and when we're 80. It's, it's important throughout life. Uh, mm -hmm. It's much easier, I must say, to make jokes that are negative about aging than to find funny things to say that are positive. I know this because yes. I am not just a pretty face. Oh, I right. am the cartoon and jokes editor at the magazine. I'm very proud of that. It's right there in the masthead. I saw it. Yes. Yes, and, uh, and... And it's not that easy to find <laughs> clever things. In <laughs> fact, I wrote a chapter of my Zoomer philosophy about jokes mm -hmm. and about the way in which the culture shades things through its jokes. And I have to admit, some of the jokes that are put-downs of aging are, are hysterical. They're, they're, they're fabulous. <laughs> Yeah. Well, in the assisted suicide article yeah. that you wrote, your yeah. uh, your uh, Zoomer philosophy, uh, there's a doctor who says, well, before we try assisted suicide, Mrs. Rose, let's give the aspirin a chance. <laughs> I love Why that. not? That was good. Mm -hmm. uh, so as far as what's in this magazine, mm -hmm. are you the top boss? Are you, I know you're not the editor, mm -hmm. but... You are the owner, right? Yep. That's... Uh, no, I, I'm clearly very engaged in the magazine, but mm -hmm. I make my personal statement in the form of this ongoing Zoomer philosophy. When, when I first started to write it, it, it's quite the chore to get it out for every issue. I thought I might do 10 chapters. Right. And, and I'm t on to 30 mm -hmm. now. And, and, well, and when it no came reason. to you, were you sitting by a lake or rowing a boat or... Sitting in the sun at the gym? The whole idea The Zuma? whole idea. I'll tell you. I know exactly when it came to me. It was the evening that I launched Much Music. So it would have been 1984. And I'm trying to remember how old I was at mm. the time, but I do remember clearly thinking, what happens in 10 years? What happens in 20 years? Can 
I still be running a rock and roll channel <laughs> at the age of 60? Well. And it was because I understood that this boomer generation that had been so powerful culturally and so fetishized mm -hmm. by the ad business and, and eventually by the political class, uh, that they grew older every year. Mm -hmm. and, and instead, the ad business and the culture got stuck back then thinking that what was important about that community was that they were young. Sure, yeah. well, and uh, not only older, but stronger and fitter, as you pointed out earlier. And mm. when you're Sir Richard Branson thinking of going to space, mm. I don't know what he, uh, you've met him, obviously. Yes, yes. Um, well, again, you, you, you've just opened the way to a fascinating discussion, but I think we're in a brave, weird new world full of healthy, fit seniors and obese, unfit juniors. Mm. That's what's going on in society. It's startling. But you do hear governments say things like, we can't afford them. What are we going to do? We've got all these healthy, fit seniors who still want to work, yeah. and we simply can't afford them. Well, this is part of uh, the issue that I take with the way in which aging is portrayed. Uh, as I said to you earlier in the interview, when it's discussed, it's often discussed as a problem. And it's, it's this image of uh, frail old people clogging the streets and breaking the bank. Mm. It's just not true. You know, it is true that the bulk of medical expenses paid out in support of anybody is in the last year of their life. But that's as true of a sick 20-year-old as it is mm -hmm. of a sick 80-year-old. The actual cost push of this extra bulge of population amounts to single digit percentages. It's real, but it is not vast because the reality is that most people live healthy and the current crop of older people are more health conscious, benefit from this better medicine. They live healthy longer. And I think the way all of us want to go is to just mm -hmm. sort of fall off a cliff at the end mm -hmm. instead of having this long, difficult, painful, and costly sure. decline. And who's got the money? The money lies with the grandparents. The money lies with the parents. And these are the people who will actually leave vast inheritances for the junior generations that are so busily complaining about their situation. And who's paying the taxes? Mm. Consider the taxes that you've paid in your lifetime. Consider what you may cost the public system mm -hmm. at some point in the future. Do you think you're a net taker or a net giver? I'm probably in the giver. I'm not well, sure. Well, then. <laughs> I'm not sure. It depends on the day. Uh, uh, but the whole changing uh, scenario here, the yes. social media, the connection, I mean, no longer are we, are we going to Sam the record man. <laughs> right. What impact will it have? on, on uh, Zoomers, on kids, do you think? Uh, Facebook. Well, it's another realm where cliche tends Tweet. to operate, right? The mm -hmm. cliche is that grandma, grandpa, even your parents, don't know how to get rid of that flashing 12 on the old VCR, right? right. And today's equivalent of that, except it's not true, right? The fastest growing part of the whole computer universe is our gang. It doesn't take long to mm -hmm. figure out that email is a really good way of staying in touch with the family. Sending pictures electronically is mm -hmm. a great way of staying in touch with the grandkids. And, 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 and you so, have more time to do it. So of all the awards you sit on, yes. and there are many, is there one that means the most to you? An award? An award. Oh, God. An order of Canada or a, a, I, I a never media think award about or a stuff. Canadian Broadcasting I, I Award or I any never, of that. I never think of no. that stuff. No. So what is something we don't know about you? Mm. And if there were such a thing, would <laughs> You're I You're not tell telling, you? are you? No. No. No, the most exciting thing is always the next thing, surely. Mm -hmm. And I'm pleased to say I've been lucky. I've managed to do okay by doing things that I think were socially also beneficial. In its day, City TV had something interesting to say about Canadian society, the advent of multiculturalism, the advent of multiracial society. We were the first, I was the first. 
in its moment, much music did a lot for the development of the Canadian music industry. And today I'm proud to say that that magazine is a beacon for a new way of approaching aging. And so is Zoomer Television, which is mm -hmm. the subtitle for Vision TV. And so is Zoomer Radio. Well, I may hit you up for a job soon. Well, that's a good thought. Okay. If the people running this heard, place are foolish first. enough to let you go. <laughs> because you are the ascendant wave. And any thinking they might have about replacing you is tired and old and they should wake up. Okay, well then I'll just take that upstairs. You do that. While you're here, maybe. You tell them I said so. In case they boot so. me right out. You tell them I, I said thank so. You. I thank you. Moses Neimer. Uh, head of the Canadian Association of Retired Persons. Oh no, relaxed, refreshed, refreshed recharged, recharged, <laughs> recycled. Uh, remember, you can join me on Twitter at Fanny Kiefer or catch our conversations on YouTube. There will be many more visionary guests to come. Till then, thanks for watching Shaw TV and being with me today.